Kennedy, to the MMAAbsolute.com, and we're here with the new PXC flyweight champion, Louis Smoker, via Skype from his home in Oahu. Uh, Louis, first of all, congratulations on your big win. Uh, talk us through your fight for people who might have missed it. Um, how did you get the win? Um, I just kept taking him down, kept trying to apply pressure. Um, at one point, he, I hit him right behind the ear with the right hand um, off of one of the takedowns, and he, I could kind of tell he was dazed, so I just tried to flurry there. I kept it on with the ground and pound, and um, he tried to sit underneath one of my legs and try to buck through, but I ended up trapping an arm, and um, from there, I just dropped ground and pound, and I, I caught him with some really solid shots. In the beginning of the fight, Kali, he threw his hands up as if to say, you know, come on. Did that kind of, you know, egg you on and kind of push you to get the finish on him? I kind of got into my head a little. Like, right at first, like, the first thing I thought was well, he was trying to Nick Diaz me, and I kind of got mad, and I was about to throw, but I remember, um, like, I was watching the Ben Henderson and Nick Diaz, um, the, the prime time or whatever, and then Ben Henderson was saying, yeah, you have to not let that get in your head. You have to stay composed and stick to the game plan. So what I did, I, like, I caught myself, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got to stick to the game plan. I got to take him down. Um, and you, you scored a lot of takedowns, uh, basically at will. Were you surprised that, you know, you was able to secure so much takedowns on, on the then champion? Uh, no, I wasn't. I kind of knew my pedigree for wrestling and ground fighting was better. I was surprised he got back up that many times, to be honest. I thought I'd be able to finish him quicker, but, you know, hats off to him. He prepared well. He knew he knew his, he had a good game plan coming in. And what's next for you? Is there anyone out there that you would like to face or anyone that you have on your radar, maybe even outside of the PXC promotion? I'm not too sure if that's possible, but is there anyone that you would like to face? Uh, I'd like to get to the UFC as quick as possible. I thought like a lot of people were thinking that I, I might get the call soon, but it doesn't really seem to be happening. Um, if I don't get the call, I want to fight Rambaugh, so I'm dead in the PXC. Um, yeah, I think he's one of the better flyweights right now out there. Um, he's taking out a lot of Japanese guys, taking out a lot of like Shudo, Dream guys. Um, he's good. He's taking out, he's beat, I think, Ulysses Gomez, um, who's a UFC veteran. He beat Ulysses Gomez, and he's got a real good record, 11-2, and two, so I think he's the most deserving flyweight the PXP has right now, and I'm looking to challenge him. And this has been a big week uh, for, you know, your team, the 808 top team, uh, with you winning the PXC title, and yesterday your teammate, Russell Dome, he won the Tachi Palace title. Uh, it must be great to not only see you, but your teammates doing big things in your MMA careers. Yeah, man. Um, so I'm so I'm so happy for us. You know, 808 top team. We're like brothers. You know, we're a family. We we push each other day in day out, and just to see you know all that hard work kind of come together, and you know all all this good stuff happening for our team. It's really good to see. It really it feels really good. We feel really validated. You know, we feel like what we what we've been doing is working, and we're gonna get some recognition. Uh, well, Luis, thank you for your time. Uh, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that might be watching this? Any shout-outs or anything you'd like to say? Um, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone. Um, 808 Top Team, War Horse Strength, um, Defend Hoy, they're my new sponsor, and CKJ 808 Striking Systems. Um, my boy Charles doing all, the, doing all the striking and stuff. Harris, he did a lot of mitt work with me. Harris Sarmiento, thank you for like, all the help you put in with this account. Thank you to everyone, man. Thank you to everyone who whoever helped me get ready. Um, and thank you to Uncle Ron and Auntie Kim. You know, they're they're like the they're the originals. You know, they're they're the people who helped make Italy, Italy top team what it is now. You know, I wouldn't be anywhere without them. So I like to thank them for all their hard work and sacrifice they put in back in the old days, man. man.